Hello everybody, it's Becky Bamboo. How are y'all? Today is, uh, what is today? April the 7th, Thursday of 2016. Um, so I am, every day I feel better and better and better, which is, um, I didn't, um, I guess I, you know, kept some skepticism of how this uh, surgery was going to go and what it was going to do for my life. And um, I think I remained cautiously optimistic and I have been um, really blown away with how good I feel so soon. Um, tomorrow will be two full weeks since um, my second surgery. So I'm two weeks post out from my first and uh, soon to be two weeks from the second. Um, I'm healing up pretty well. Um, I did run into a little bit of trouble um, the last couple days. The incisions on my back started draining pretty heavily. Um, just kind of a blood-tinged, liquidy, like a serosanguinous uh, fluid. And um, I wasn't really worried about um, the fact that it was draining. Uh, but after... Um, two days worth my mom was like you're calling them I you I need you to set my mind at ease so I called and I said you know I'm, I'm just reporting the drainage so y'all know and um, the PA called me back and said you know he said I, I uh, I'm really surprised it took this long before you called he said we did a lot of damage to your tissues back there because the surgery was really difficult to do you had so much damage and uh, he said you know, just to keep an eye on it because, um, you know, he said, I know you're a nurse, so I know you're going to keep an eye on it. He said, but it's really an urgent situation if you feel like it looks infected. I said, well, I don't think it's infected by any means. I just wanted y'all to be aware because of the volume that's coming out. There was a lot. I went through, I think, five dressings yesterday. So there was a lot coming out, completely saturated overnight. Um, so I just, you know, they needed to be aware of that. And he said, well, I'm, you know, I totally was prepared for this phone call, but he said, uh, one thing we didn't talk about, and he said, and I didn't want to scare you off, was that, um, the backside, you need to be really aware of, um, infection because, uh, we had to really open up the nerve roots. And he said that, um, exposure could cause you um, if you got any kind of infection in the um, in your backside that um, you could get meningitis so I said well I think that's something I probably should have known like the day of discharge not like almost two weeks later and he said well I don't like to tell people that because people really freak out and worry about it he said but you're smart and he said and since we're coming into the weekend I just want you to know that if anything looks funny you need to go to the ER because it is considered an emergency so um, you know I'm not worried about it everything looks i mean the 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 incisions themselves all look pretty good they're all a little bit red and, and irritated and that's just from um the binder or the brace and the clothing and the bone stimulator and all the stuff that's on and off me um all day so they're all kind of just um pissy the uh incision on my belly really looks like it's time to get the staples out they're just like they just look terrible, like it's time to get them out. So I get them out on Monday. Um, and that was the other thing why he wasn't too like jumping the gun to have me come in is that I'm already scheduled to be in there on Monday anyway. So um, we're hoping just to get through the weekend and then they'll take a look at everything. And hopefully I'll get um, all or most of the uh, sutures removed from my back. I'm, I'm, I've got three incisions on my back that are all sutures and the one on my front is all staples. I know they'll take the staples out. Um, that incision itself looks really healed, which is great. And then um, I'm hoping they'll take most of the stuff out of the back just because that stuff's irritating. It's just, at this point, it's an annoyance because they get caught on your clothes, on like, you know, the dressing get caught because it's a pressure dressing. So there's all kinds of gauze in there and it's just a mess. So, um, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, um, my spirits are good. I, I mean, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm, um, I have no back pain. I have no leg pain. The, really, the pain that I have is incisional stuff. My belly is still very, very sore, and I'm um, worried about there being maybe an, a pocket of something going on in the front. Um, they will address that on uh, Monday. But other than that, I think everything's, you know, I'm doing really good. Um, I get stronger every day. It's easier to get up and down every day. And really, the 
Um, I've had some nerve pain, like shocky nerve pain, and they told me to expect that for a while after surgery. Um, I had a couple nights that were pretty bad. Um, it didn't hit me till like evening time. Evening time's always my worst part of the day. Um, and then I also had some issues with, um, if I sit on the toilet too long and get up, then I get kind of a shock down my my end of my butt and I think that's just a positional thing from the compression of sitting on the toilet so um, other than that the pain that I have is all just uh, surgical pain so that's you know and that gets better every day so I fully anticipate that it won't be too long till all of that will be gone and and I'm really really just absolutely shocked I'm um, talking to the PA today he was asking how my pain was and I said you know I'm doing really good like I feel I feel better now than I have in a year so it's it makes it really easy to um, you know get up every day and 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 I'm and I have something to look forward to in the in the coming months I, I'm far from being healed yet I know um, you know the bones take a long time to fuse but we're in a really good place right now if I feel this good now I feel like I'm gonna have some really good momentum going into the, the next few months so um, yeah I mean I, I have zero regrets about doing this surgery um, if you had asked me on day like two when I was here I would have just told you I did this was horrible I should never have done this it is um, it is the most painful thing I've ever been through in my life um, and I had a lot of pain going in to the surgery uh, so that kind of tells you something but coming out uh, the surgical pain was pretty intense to have two major major surgeries back to back and and uh, the second one was really challenging for them so I'm really lucky that I got a skilled surgeon that knew what he was doing um, because I feel like I, it, it was definitely a possibility of coming out of there worse off so um, so far everything I'm just really happy with um, I have to be careful not to do too much. Um, that does cause an increase in the drainage that I'm seeing as if I'm not moving more. So um, they told me, you know, take it easy the first two weeks, don't really do much. I have been out twice outside of um, home and uh, both times were just like a little shopping excursion. And I will say uh, I went out this week and I was whipped. I was just whipped before we got home. So I'm definitely, um, I fatigue very quickly. So um, it's important that I rest and um, and it's gonna be hard because I feel so much better than I have in the last year and I feel like I'm more than capable of doing you know picking up my daughter and doing those things but I know the reason behind it so I'm having to force myself to say no even when I really want to be able to do it either for my kids benefit or to help my mother whatever the case may be but I've been really good I've been a good patient so far other than going out twice and really for me it's just about getting out of the house like I just I'm not, i just not a homebody. I like to get out and do stuff and feeling better than I have in so long really like kind of is encouraging that. So um, anyway, I'm looking forward to um, being released to be able to at least walk some more because my parents live in a beautiful neighborhood and there's great sidewalks and the weather's starting to get better and I'd really like to be able to just get out a little bit. So um, hopefully that's coming in the next um, month or so. I, I, I really, it would be great if they would release me to do more after, after Monday, but I don't know where we'll be because of the drainage. So uh, anyway, let's see what else, what else, what else. Um, I have a whole slew of uh, medicine sitting here in front of me. Um, I have um, a whole section of plexus and a whole section of my other stuff. I finally got on a good bowel regimen. My, my bowels are doing great. Um, I take magnesium and a stool softener every day. And plus I take my... Um, ProBio 5 Plexus Probiotic, which is amazing. I doubled up on that. I actually just in the mail today got two brand new bottles because I was out. So um, that stuff's awesome. If you need a good probiotic, I so encourage you to, to go that route. It's really, really good. Um, and then I have a lot of other stuff. <clears throat> I am supposed to be taking calcium citrate and um, a vitamin D every day, but I have yet to be able to do that because of the severe constipation. So um, now that I'm getting my bowels back regular and I got more of my probiotic in, I'll start adding that back in, which will help to build the bone in my spine. Um, I am still taking a muscle relaxer and a pain pill twice a day, just in the morning and in the, at night, and I'm going to wipe out the morning one uh, very soon. 
I do have a non-narcotic pain medicine that I can switch to, so I think I may try to transition a little bit with that. I'm still taking Lyrica, um, which is for nerve pain, and I'm still taking amitriptyline, and I'm hoping to find out Monday more about when I can get off of those. Um, and then other than that, the only other new thing I added was I've got the Plexus Mega X, um, which is the Omega supplement that we have. It's Omega 369 plus 5 and 7. It is um, one of the best Omega products you can find on the market because of how multifactual it is. So um, I'm just, I really have needed an additional supplement and I was excited to, to have the opportunity to try that one out. So, um, so yeah, um, Plexus is going well. I feel, you know, I have a lot of energy every day, which I can thank for that. I'm sleeping great. I was told pre-op, you will not sleep for three months. You will not sleep um, a full night, nor will you sleep in a bed. And I am here to tell you that I, from day one, have come back and I sleep in a bed every single night and I sleep almost all night. Um, I occasionally wake up to have to use the bathroom um, in the middle of the night. Other than that, I'm sleeping the whole night. I do not nap during the day. However, there's times I feel like I could, um, but I don't. So I think that really helps to make me extra tired at night. And then the, all of the Plexus stuff does a phenomenal job of helping you rest. So um, I'm really, you know, I feel so good because I'm getting such a good night's sleep every single night. And I, and I know that that's helping my healing processes and everything else. So... Um, you know, those of you watching me wanting to know about spinal fusion, that is one thing I can say. Um, don't have to believe the hype that they tell you. You know, your own path is your own path, and what works for some people is not going to work for others. For me, sleeping in a chair is not up for discussion. I want to sleep in my bed every night, and uh, so I made it a mission. Plexus helps me do that. Um, it gets your gut health in check and that helps everything else flow correctly and you guys would be amazed at how many different things um, are affected by what our guts are doing so um anyway i'm i'm doing really terrific and uh so i will check in with you guys when i can next week uh, maybe um you know early next week after my doctor's appointment i hope i can uh, squeeze in a video and let you guys know what what happened there but in the interim know that every day I get stronger every day I get more stamina um, every day I heal a little bit more and have a little bit less pain and I'm hoping that six months from now I will be um, back to doing the things that I love and enjoying my kids and going back to work and being really just happy again so um you know, it's it's a huge thing to be out of pain when I've had pain for um, pretty much consistently two and a half years straight. It's amazing for me to just have surgical pain. It's like a miracle. So, um, yes, I feel like I have been very blessed and I would recommend anybody looking at Spinal Fusion to use the surgeon I did. He's really the best of the best. So, um, anyway, that's it. Mwah. Love you guys. See you soon.